welcome to another episode of The Clever Clarinetist. I'm your host, Dr. Larkin Sanders. Today I'm going to play for you my four favorite Selmer clarinets available in my shop right now in the key of B flat. I have two really wonderful presences, a muse, and a privilege ready for you to try, um, and also for me to try in this video. If you've ever been curious about what I consider to be the best that Selmer has to offer, or the best that my shop has to offer right now, this is a great example of what I can get. I do have access to the entire collection of Selmer Paris instruments, the entire catalog, um, but these are four instruments that I have handpicked for the shop because I think they are just fabulous. And of course, they will go up against the control, which is my personal presence B flat clarinet. Um, with a handful of slight modifications, I'm using a B Corbin barrel, a traditional barrel. It's 65 millimeters long, just a half of a millimeter shorter than the barrel that came with the instrument. Um, and I will be using my setup on all of the instruments, which includes a Bain Epic mouthpiece with a medium tip opening, a Silverstein Hexa ligature in rose gold, a Diderio Reserve Classic Reed in three and a half, um, and that's it. That's all of it. In order to test these clarinets for you today, I will be playing two F major scales, one slurred and one articulated, in addition to an excerpt from the opening of Brahms's Clarinet Sonata in E flat major, opus 120. I use this excerpt a lot and I get a lot of questions about it. Um, it's a very standard part of the clarinet repertoire and you can download the music for free at imslp.org. Without further ado, here is our control instrument. with a traditional wood body and so there's no evolution lining or anything and almost 10 years later it still sounds amazing. Let's try one of the presences in my inventory. Okay so both of the presences I have right now are kind of special actually. So they both have the 18th key which my clarinet does not and they both have the evolution lining. And I know I just spoke to the high level of functionality of my instrument without the evolution lining, but this is the thing. The evolution lining, which is a synthetic lining in the top half of the upper joint to prevent cracking and changing with any level of moisturizer, temperature or otherwise, um, it provides a 10 year warranty on these instruments. So your warranty goes from two years with a standard Grenadilla body instrument to 10 with one of these and it costs literally nothing extra. This clarinet is the same price as my clarinet. So those are the only two real differences between this clarinet and mine. Otherwise, it's the same make and model. So let's see how it sounds. <laughs> second presence in my inventory. It has the exact same specs as the one I just tried. It has the 18th key and it has the evolution line in the upper joint. So let's see how it sounds. 
instrument was or the first of my inventory the easiest one to control is always going to be mine because it's what I'm used to so um, that might not be the most fair comparison truly but between this one and the other one I liked the other one a little bit better it was a little bit more even it was really easy to control it had a beautiful sound I might actually like that other one better than my clarinet right now oh anyway um having said that just because an instrument doesn't fit me very well doesn't mean it won't fit you very well. It may doesn't mean it won't fit you. Yeah. Um, so if you're interested in trying these, of course, you can let me know. Um, but let's keep going. I still have a muse and a privilege to try. All right, so I have my setup on a privileged clarinet. So something that's really cool about all the instruments I'm trying today is that they are all evolution clarinets. So this privilege also has the evolution lining in the upper joint, which is great because this instrument is much more expensive than the Presence instruments. And we're running at about $7,000 per instrument. Same with the Muse. The Muse is just a little bit more expensive than this clarinet. Um, but until the Muse came along, this was like Selmer's creme de la creme, the tippity top of all of their clarinet offerings. Um, so let's see how it sounds. I'd like to make on this clarinet, um, which I will do before it goes out to anybody. Um, but overall, a gorgeous instrument. It's very similar to the presences that I have. Um, it has a slightly darker tone quality and it offers up a hair more resistance than the presence instruments do. So that could be a pro or con depending on who you are and what you want for the clarinet. For me, it's actually a con. I would like a little bit less resistance but this instrument is really beautiful and it does have a little bit of that je ne sais quoi that we always want from our clarinets as far as like orchestral playing and large ensemble playing is concerned. Um, so again, it has the evolution lining, some slightly top, um, slightly <laughs> tighter manufacturing tolerances than the presence. So um, if you're looking for an awesome clarinet, but you don't want to spend time going through a bunch of different instruments to make sure that you find the one, um, you definitely want to increase your budget size to go with a more expensive instrument because those instruments typically have higher tolerances or tighter tolerances in their manufacturing. So that means they're going to be more consistent across various clarinets. But if you try hard enough, you can definitely find a presence that sounds a lot like a privilege, just like the two I have right now. All right. Let's move on and hear how the Muse compares to all these instruments. All right, so now I have the Muse. This particular Muse is really visually striking because it's, it's kind of hard to see, but it has a, like really brown tones in the wood. Um, so you can really get a good sense of the grain. Um, I typically lean towards clarinets sound-wise when they are darker and oilier. It's like all of my clarinet's wood is, you can almost see almost no grain because the wood is so oily. Um, so that means this wood is not gonna be quite as oily, um, but you might like it, but let's see 
how it sounds for real. <laughs> from my personal clarinet that the Muse is definitely going to be a top contender for my attention. Um, so Muse was designed to make a lower resistance high-end clarinet that could rival or complement the privilege and appeal to clarinetists that aren't looking for that deep level of resistance that's provided by the privilege and, um, and other traditional, more traditional clarinets. It automatically comes with the Evolution lining, so these also come with a 10 year warranty. So all of the clarinets I've tried today, with the exception of mine, have a 10 year warranty. It also has the 18th key and because it's less resistant means that the bore size is actually going to be a little bit smaller than the Privilege. Um, I think it's pretty similar to the Prezon's bore size, but again the manufacturing tolerances are going to be tighter for the Muse and so they'll be more consistent across the line. I think out of all of the instruments I played on today, this one is my favorite. Um, I think it had the most even sound, it had the best intonation, and it didn't uh, provide too much resistance against my face. Just was a joy to play. It had such a beautiful sound. Sorry, Bellatrix. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this little preview of my four favorite clarinets in my shop right now by Henri Summer Paris. Again, I have access to the full catalog of instruments, and if you're interested in trying, lots of Selmer Paris clarinets. I hope you'll reach out to me so I can hook you up with a trial or so I can hook you up with an appointment here in Kansas City. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.